kill that music. I don't know what else to put on. Koda was so too deep for me. I don't know what music to play for him. It's just too deep. It's too edgy. It's just, yeah, too edgy. Too deep. You can't get enough, an edgy enough song for him. Mm, nope. So what's Koto gonna do on like his regular day of sinning? Uh, he doesn't really have a set schedule uh, from day to day. Um, he usually sleeps most of the day away. He's more active in the evening or at night. Um, of he's, course. Yep. So either he fucks around doing his own thing, like going to clubs and watching out on his own turf, or he'd be like kind of sitting uh, somewhere private, like handling business transactions or whatever he needs to do, making connections. Gotta get that hashtag criminal network. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to say it's like Friday night, so it is definitely club time if you want it to be club time. Yeah. Since for you, club is both fun time and business time, since you can do your business, business. in a club and appear to be threatening and not just edgy. And also having fun. Look at this image I found here. Oh. I'm gonna change the tune. You're getting different club music than I gave <laughs> Wild because I'm picky. There we go. Oh, massive confusion. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, it's Friday night. You are at your club. I don't know what to name it. Uh, <laughs> you name it. It's your club. Uh, you I was not prepared to name it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Club Edgelord. Club Edgelord. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna call it Club Edge. That's the oh club you. Oh my god. You... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just does sound like a legit club name, is the sad part. It does. <laughs> Alright, it's Club Edge. You are in Club Edge. Uh, it is. It does, this does look like a place that would be named Club Edge. <laughs> it's all scribble stuff, and you know, you got a crowd of like. Hot people who are probably all looking at you. Yeah. You can roll perception. Alright. Let's see. That's a five. Oh, shit. Neat. Well, good crowd tonight. Uh, lots of hot chicks, lots of equally hot dudes. Uh, people are, you know, casually doing those drugs you deal off the tables. <laughs> and. But then you're like, wait, is that shit mine or is that someone else's shit? Does it matter? Do I have to roll for like how high he is? Are you getting high? I assumed you were not getting high yet, but you can get high if you'd like. How late is it in the night? Mm, it's like 10.30. Okay, that's a little early. Yeah, it's a little early to break up the cocaine. Yeah. Save it for later. <laughs> <I'm just... laughs> <laughs> Alright. How many people are like how crowded is the club? It is fairly crowded. I mean it's a Friday night. And on Friday nights they fill out even as early as ten PM because people want to get like the good spots. Mm -hmm. Um you're obviously in your like super VIP section. I'm assuming you have like a couple cronies who are with you. And you see a couple people like across from you in a different VIP booth that you've never seen before. Most people here, you're like, all right, that's this dude, that's the other dude, that's uh, that's this chick who's banging this dude. So you're like, you're like, know your ins and outs. But there's some people here who you're like, who the fuck? Mm -hmm. Do they look like they belong though? Like, do they look rich <laughs> enough to be in the VIP booth? Um, sort of, but the point st stands that you don't know them, and you, you thought you knew all your VIPs. Mm. Okay, he'd probably shimmy up like next to one of them, offer to uh, buy them a drink or something. Eh, 
that's a dude in like you know, you know that like douchebag young entrepreneur look where they wear like a suit jacket but then jeans. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like slick back blonde hair, and he just kind of looks at you with his eyebrow. Uh, <laughs> uh, sure. He'll offer his hand to introduce himself. Uh, the guy shakes her hand and he introduces himself as Michael. Michael. Are you joining yourself tonight, Michael? Yeah. Um. He kind of just stares at you, like, not actually quite sure who you are. <laughs> like, he- like, Hoto owns this club, right? Yeah, it's okay. yours. You're uh, freaking Yakuza, of course you own a club. <laughs> okay. Uh, he'll casually mention that in conversation, ask who he is. Like, is your first time here? Oh, the dude's are like, is like, actually surprised and, uh... Yeah, he kind of just, just gives a start when you mention that and starts stumbling over his words. Mm. Can I roll, like, empathy on that or something? Yes. Uh, wits and empathy? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> the Koto's off to a good part. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I rolled my dice pool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess he just sucked up all of Jasper's luck. <laughs> um, you definitely catch Michael's eyes kind of like crawling down your neck, like to your tattoos, and he's kind of sweating. Like he just realized, like he he walked into the dragon's den and he doesn't know what to do. Can I roll something to like make Kodo seem more friendly? Like, uh, yeah, presence and manipulation. Uh, what was it? Presence and manipulation. Alright. This is gonna be a bad roll. Yep! <laughs> Called it. <laughs> uh, do you wanna make that a crit fail? Let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you attempt to make yourself look friendly and you kinda grin. <laughs> but. It, you, you realize um, when you look up at yourself in like a reflection, you're like, ah, oh, it's more like you're baring your teeth. And he's actually <laughs> terrified right now. Aww. And he kind of like, he gets, he kind of shuffles over and hides something very quickly in his pocket. Can't, did Kodo get, get a glimpse of that? Or... Uh, yeah, I'd roll perception again. Uh, well, this guy's got a bunch of people with him at the table, and they're all, all kind of staring at him a bit expectantly, and then kind of like nervously at you, <laughs> and, uh, through your knowledge, you kind of know whatever you put away was, I guess, probably, like, a packet of drug-sized. Mm. Okay, he probably wouldn't mind that too much, then. He'll just continue to linger around. Intimidate the hell out of them. <laughs> Wait until he breaks it out again. Well, if you're gonna be stealthing around them, I would roll stealth. Okay. Uh, wits and stealth? Uh, maybe dex and stealth if you're like gonna dodge behind some crowds. Oh, you you're... all of the perception rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a very, very obvious presence, and uh, this guy can obviously feel your eyes on the back of his neck, because he <laughs> kind of like taps a girl across from him on the wrist, and they get up from the table, and they start having a conversation a little further from you. <laughs> and you can roll perception again, and I'm sure you'll get at least one success. Can you still, like, have a brain, stand, right? like, are they, like, like, close to a wall or something? Yeah. Can you, like, stand, like, away from them, but also close to the wall and, like, see if you can hear them? Like, kind of their words? It is very loud in here. Yeah, I would take figured. the perception if you're l you losing just listening. Okay. If you're watching, there's no penalty, because whatever. Uh, okay, I'll just do a general one then. I almost want to give you a pity reroll because, like, 
Holy the shit! Heck? Oh, there goes all my luck. I already used it all up. Oh, your luck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, you don't see. Edge Lord is reduced to shit, Lord. You don't see what really goes down between them. Uh, but that girl runs away real quick. And that guy goes back to his table. And another girl slides into the previous girl's place. Mm. So he's probably dealing. Where did, where did the other girl run off to? Like the bathroom? Yep. Okay. Uh, can he have like one of his goonies like keep an eye out on them too? Yeah, sure. Did you take retainers, by the way, or...? I didn't. Did have... I, s I just spent it all on spells because I wanted spells. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they're not retainers, they're just goons. Okay. So. They're like, yeah, sure, boss. <laughs> Keep an eye on his pockets. Oh, what else is going around? The club. Um... It is only... You look at your watch like almost 11 and people seem a lot more like inebriated than usual let's check that uh can kodo get just as inebriated <laughs> everyone else it's time to get hashtag drunk <laughs> this is r d all over again what are you going to fuck yourself up with uh just with alcohol for now yeah, that's fair. Are you going to resist the effects of alcohol? No. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure I have to roll anything for you then, but you can roll a stamina. Okay. Does it resolve in stamina or is it stamina composure? I think it's... Uh, I don't know. Stam I think it's stamina composure. Oh, wait for Ink. Ink knows everything. There's like special rules for like coke and stuff, but... Uh, out of I, would, I only smart. know alcohol that gave me like plus one to social. I yeah, just do like just do stamina and composure. Okay. You can judge exactly how drunk you are. Alrighty. Stamina. Because ink go do go do family things. <laughs> if your stamina resolve is more dice, you can add some dice. Better. Nice. Uh, you can hold your alcohol, you're not a fucking teenager. <laughs> Even though you're sitting out there getting drunk and like trying to keep an eye out, um, you do notice this guy like get up and walk off a couple more times with some chicks, and your goons are like, there are no boss, he's up to something. <laughs> can you intercept one of the girls while they're walking to the bathroom? Yeah. Alright. Like, catch them on the dance floor and try to, to force them to dance with them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's uh, you, He's not you need to do like a, uh, I don't know, presence? Okay. Or manipulation persuasion. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does smooth talking, does the smooth talking specialty count? Yep. Okay. Presence and persuasion? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Dang! Well, one success is enough. Like, you kind of corner hot, dark-skinned girl in bright red dress with giant boobs, and you, you're like, "All right, we're dancing," and she's like, mm, "I mean, it's got cool hair," <laughs> and she like quickly hides something in her boobs. Does he see it? Hmm. You can roll for session. <laughs> 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 Wow. He was really paying attention to her boobs. He, were, he was really paying attention to those titties. <laughs> to the titties. Well, you stare at titties. And, like, while you're dancing, I guess you see, like, you know those, like, little plastic packets that, um, like, Coke comes in? Mm -hmm. They're just, like, tiny, tiny Ziploc things, essentially. So she's got one of those, like, hidden between her boobs. But, like, whatever powder is in it is actually black. It's sort of, like, black and sparkly. Like, Glitter almost, and you're like, What the fuck? So it's not like any drug he's seen before? Nope. Uh, he'll 
kind of like gestured to that with his gaze and like, what's that? Oh, and she's like, oh, and like was kind of embarrassed and like pokes it down further into her bra. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, stuffing. I uh, just, I, I bought it from that guy. Um, heard some good things about it. It's called like Demon Dust. Demon Dust. That's new. My girlfriend says it gets you really, really fucked up. Oh. Like, worse than, like, meth, and she, like, giggles. <laughs> He'll laugh along with her. Not that I've ever done meth before, but, like... <laughs> Koto probably has. And she's uh, like, yeah, well, I mean... If you want some, um, it's not that expensive, we just ask that guy. I'll dance with her a little bit more before letting her go. Okay, but are you going to grab that boob? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> We're all sex and stuff. <laughs> sex and stuff to reach down into titties. <laughs> <laughs> he has some common courtesy. She roll to grab boob. Well, if you, you don't act gross, and she actually kind of ends up liking you. And um, she kind of was like, offers you her number before you go. Oh, he'll give her. He'll take it. Oh my god. <laughs> Royalty um, crazy. You have priorities here. Priorities. Girls over. And there's someone dealing drugs in your establishment, but titties are more important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go awkwardly sit next to that guy again. Uh, Michael, like, raises up, of course, when you just sit down next to him, because what the fuck? <laughs> Can you, like, try to, like, intimidate him a little bit by, like, putting his arms out, stretching his arms out, and, like, getting really close to him? Like, hey, I know you're selling something. Yeah, just roll <laughs> presents. <laughs> Kind of just. I mean, are you crit failing or? Sure. <laughs> Give oh me God. the XP. You're only getting one XP already okay. for crit failing. Oh so this is just your for fun crit fail. <laughs> you like stretch your arms out to be like, yeah, I'm so fucking intimidating, <laughs> and and you accidentally like hit him in the face. <laughs> just like I just like a light slap sort of dealio that doesn't actually hurt but he jumps back and he's like what the fuck man <laughs> and he's more like he's more angry than he is scared mm. don't care. he's like do you have a fucking problem yes i do actually let me see what you're dealing no fuck off yeah, fuck off at my club then this is my turn oh your club yeah <laughs> he's like i ain't going anywhere can he like gesture to like look at his goo like make eye contact with his goons and then like look back at him? It's kind of like a signal to like kind of drag him out. You could try rolling intimidation again. Okay. <laughs> Presence <laughs> and intimidation. Yeah. I mean, so far you've just acted like an idiot to this guy, and he doesn't take you hundred percent seriously. Hell, I got five willpower. I might as well use one. Shit. <laughs> well, I know one success is enough. You like gesture to your goons who just look like they have like two brain cells <laughs> to share between you, all of them, and they just kind of nod threateningly. And he's like, "You're not gonna do anything to me." I will. But like, kind of wavery. He'll gesture to his hand again. Like, let's see what you have. The guy looks a bit hesitant and but gives you the packet of small packet of the black whatever it is. Can you roll like I don't know if investigation give me anything on it? Like if it looks similar to like meth yeah. like the girl yeah. was saying or anything. Sure. Else? Okay. Uh what's an investigation? Mm-hmm.
Well, you like turn it over in your hands, and um, you've seen Breaking Bad, and you know the consistency of like that blue meth that they have on that show. Mm-hmm. I mean, I bet Kodo's even seen Breaking Bad, <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is just like Breaking Bad, <laughs> but it's like black crystals mm-hmm. ground very finely into a powder with the consistency of cocaine until it's like sparkling and you kind of look around the club and then you think about oh yeah everybody's more fucked up than usual so this whatever it is product is on your turf okay he'll ask how much he's dealt out tonight he's like fuck you man I ain't saying anything okay and he tried to intimidate him Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Reroll. One success. You can reroll. You oh. tied. Shit. Ah. Uh, this dude clearly has it up his ass, and, um, Michael just like runs the hand through his hair and it's like <laughs> just kinda he does a pfft at you. The whole like villain. Oh my god. Um He's like, hey buddy, you're old news, clearly. <laughs> it ain't your club anymore. Can he try like stand up, go to his goons and like try to get the to get him to get them to escort him somewhere private? Sure, I'm a, I'll just give it to you because like they're not your actual retainers, but I'm gonna say they're strong enough to probably lift this guy up from his table and drag him to wherever you like him to be. Okay. Since he's not, he's like a skinny dude who looks like he probably went to Harvard or something. Oh my god. Uh, is there and there's private rooms. That yeah, would be there are private rooms at clubs. Okay. Or for um, their rich people. We'll just take him to one of those then. Uh, he's like, oh, listen, even if you punch me the fuck out, like, I'm not the only dealer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, would you be willing to rat out the others? Or... Fuck no. Okay. Take him away. I think if you actually want to beat the answer out of him, you're gonna have to do it personally. Yeah. I ain't rolling for your game. Koda will. <laughs> <laughs> so, are they already in the room then? Yep. I'm just not changing the picture because I didn't get a private room club picture because how do you get a picture of those? That's true, yeah. Alright, uh... So, what, like, do they have him, like, pinned to a chair or something? I'm gonna guess here? they just kind of shoved him back into a seat, like the one in front here. Okay. Um, but aren't actually holding him down. And he's just got his hands up like, yeah, buddy. That's okay. not this. Okay, my athletic rolls are pretty shitty. <laughs> well, if you want to punch him, then it's a grapple, so. Uh, can I just, like, shove him out of the chair and, like, pin him against a wall instead? Still going to take a strength and brawl. Okay. I'll go with that then. I'll willpower it. <laughs> Um, oh shit! <laughs> uh, oh, that was, I was like, yeah, he's gonna lose his fight. He's a physical oh tertiary God. too. And then he, rolled one, he rolled one success more than his actual dice pool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Kodo's failing it. <laughs> you like, you go and like try to shove this guy out of his chair, but he dodges right past you oh, and just moves to another section of the couch. Oh, that, okay. And he's like, alright, I'm, I'm done with this. Okay, so Kodo would be like severely pissed right now, and like he has his revolver on him, right? Uh, yeah. Can he, uh, can he use that, like, pull that out, point it at him, and use it for intimidation bonus, maybe? Yeah, has an intimid- as plus two to intimidation. Okay, so intimidation and presence, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of 
I was like, don't move. <laughs> I can't. He he does freeze, but like he's still like in control of his emotions. And Michael just like puts his hands up and is like, "All right, buddy, don't do anything you would regret later." But he's he's not still not scared of you because he keeps rolling cards, and you like don't know how. <laughs> what the dice. fuck did you stat, like, Ron? <laughs> dude, he has five dice for resistance, oh, and he keeps rolling fours. Holy shit. <laughs> Um, but like he's like all right all right calm down he's just he's just trying to like do like the whole like police officer like all right sir, <laughs> please put down the gun and sort of like, stick on you he's yeah, not actually like, Kodo is just like rolling his eyes and be like i'll let you go for the night if you give me 50 percent of what you're getting uh, okay and then he looks kind of like yeah, i want to share my money you're on my turf He kind of thinks about it for a moment, and you can sort of see Michael's hogs, <laughs> and you can tell that he likes money more than he likes his job. And he's like, all right, tell you what, if I sell out the guy who's giving me this shit and telling me to come sell in this territory to you, uh, I'll work for you and I'll sell on your behalf if, you, if the pay is equal. What's your pay? He kind of like grins and he's like, all right, uh, he gives you an address of like some street corner in the not so nice area of Boston. Of course. And he's like, honestly, it's just a weird dude in a hoodie who stands on the corner and gives this out to people and he sends this out like all over the place. And they told me to come here, specifically, actually, so. Any reason why? I don't fucking know. I always just got paid really nicely, and that's all I care about. So, if you can pay me, like, even $10 more than they did, I'm in your pocket. I don't give a shit. Alright, you're splitting the profits with me, though. Don't go back to him. That's fine, as long as you can keep me safe, too. Of course. Get out. Do you want to put the gun away? I think at this point... Okay, the guy like starts breathing again. <laughs> Hi, jeez. And he would fuck off. <laughs> All right, Kodo would just spend the rest of the night at the club then. Investigate that at a later time. He's like, that seems like a pressing matter, but it's not that pressing. Not pressing enough to stop me from getting high. Yep. <laughs> I would say, do you want to do drugs? But yeah. if you do them, the effects, like, like that penalize your rolls and stuff, won't stick around until the next day. If you're gonna be going the next day anyway. Yeah. So we can just say you got good and high, they and really you were like, you were so fucked up that like you got home at like 4 a.m. and like you found this bag of black sand in your pocket, and you were like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm doing oh my god. Can you try it? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a sign, not a cop, sure. Okay, you'd be curious. <laughs> well, it's a powder, so that's up to you what you want to do with it. You snort that. I don't know anything about drugs, Ron. <laughs> I know too many things about <laughs> yes, drugs. Yes, you Listen, do. <laughs> <laughs> because, because I play Scotty, okay? I know you do. <laughs> if you have a powder, you, you can to put it up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> you actually can if you'd like to, oh okay? God, no. That is a thing that people do. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is that. Thing that people do. Do you actually, can you actually get high doing that? Yeah, you actually, it's actually a really dangerous way to take drugs in because like- Oh my god, that would like make it- Put it up your- okay, because like I'm, I'm gonna be really gross here for a second, but like the memories and stuff in like your intestines are super absorbent, right? Because the point of your intestines is to oh absorb as much god. nutrients as possible. Oh so when you put drugs up your ass, they will get like super absorbed and they don't go um they don't go past your liver because when you take them through your mouth they go past your liver first and your liver filters out some of the toxins so people actually die all the time from <laughs> up their <laughs> like, i didn't know that it's like, it's like the most dangerous way to take drugs other than shooting them into your throat oh my god <laughs> 
Okay, and other other ways to take a powder if you have it is to like mix it with a binder and inject it, or just straight up snort it or smoke it. He just... The possibilities are endless. <laughs> He'd either just like snort it or smoke it. You That's can't ruin fine. the tattoos you... with injections. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. Oh, you can roll stamina and composure. Uh, so at the end of the night, you like, you're like kind of alone in like your private room, and you're like, all right, let's try this shit. Uh, you do up a line, and uh, by the time <laughs> by the time you get to the end of the line, uh, everything has gone black, and you like wake up the next day at home. Oh fuck! Like what even happened? Well, that wasn't as fun as I was expecting. <laughs> You, you straight up blacked out. Jesus. Is there any left? Uh, you kind of like face planted into what was left of it. <laughs> so there is like a little bit left. Okay. Can you try like sorting that, the leftovers? Do you want to black out again? <laughs> did you how, much, left? how much did he take? You took like a tiny, like, okay, oh. a line is a line isn't a lot. A line is like How much was in Probably the like packet, though? Um, enough for like two lines, so like two okay. pinches worth. Alright, he'll just save it for later then. If it was... If there's still more left. If there's still more left what? If there's still more for like another line, then he'll just save it for later. Yeah. Well, what you gonna do while I decide on music? Because okay. I mean... Uh, what time of day is it now? Uh, you woke up in, like, mid-afternoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, did the guy said that, like, his dealer was always there? Uh, he said his, the guy was around in the evening in the okay. crude part of town. Okay, he'd wait for it to, like, for the sun to go down then. Before he checks you lie, in, you lie in bed like, what the fuck <laughs> did I just take? <laughs> Until, like, the sun goes down. Well, actually, can you do, like, some research on, like, Demon Dust? Like, do on- like, check it out online or anything? Yeah, go on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, honestly, like, wits and computer. Oh, <laughs> shit, I have I hope you have some. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be I've a long time. <laughs> I've been waiting for the day I get someone to roll computer. Oh my god. Uh, should I will power? I should have willpower. Okay. Nice. Good. Uh, you look up the hashtags on twitter.com, and there are a lot of people talking about this. Um, people being like, it's kind of scary, but I want to try it. And then there's some like news articles that are calling it like the new super drug. Like they're like the same articles that you would have seen about bath salts a while ago, and people are like, oh my god, people are doing bath salts, it's going insane. People have died. Horrible. Okay. Same kind of dealio. So people have died. Many people have died, actually. Surprising. You count at least five. How, about how long has it been around then? Uh, the oldest article is from like a week ago. Okay. Uh, do they know like what it's made out of? Like where it's being imported from? Like, it is a mystery. Mystery. But. Seeing as you're in America, they're already blaming the Mexicans, obviously. Uh, of course, yeah, they always assume it's from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can he ask, like, any of his other gang members, like, if they've ever heard of it? Like, it, whether they know anything about it? Uh, you can, like, ring him up, and they would say they only started hearing about it, like, a week ago. Okay. And a couple of them had to deal with, like, people trying to sell on their turf. Kind of like, kind of pushing your, your product down the line. Like, no one wants your shit anymore. Hmm. Uh, did, was he given a name for the shady guy that he's gonna meet later? Nope. <laughs> no? nope. Alright. You were just given a description of a very strange kiddo in a hoodie. Okay. So, does he have, like, do any of his goonies have, like, any idea what other gangs might be dealing in? Or any idea who their competition is? Uh, 
His gang friend, your gang friends would kind of say like they don't know where exactly it comes from, but they've just seen like new dealers popping up in their turf, in their territory, and they've been trying to solve the same mystery as you. Okay. All right, then he'll wait until evening, and then take some of his buttos, head over to that spooky dark alley. <laughs> How many goons are you taking? Uh, two or three sounds good. Alright. You get two. Okay. I need better night music than this. Hmm. Oh, atmosphere. Look how <clears throat> dark it is. <laughs> Spooky. Well, it is spoopy. Um, you are on like Skid Row, obviously. Uh, there are a lot of people who look like they crawled out of dumpsters. There's like a hobo with like a garbage can fire. There's a couple people sleeping on the streets. And there's like, oh, there's prostitutes. And you're like, yep, this looks like a normal Saturday evening at my. You can roll perception. Okay. Very typical Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Wow. Okay. Uh, apparently, you can only perceive it's, and nothing he's else. Only good at watching. <laughs> um, well, you know a lot of the people here too. There are people who run in your circles. Uh, you you look at all like the the prostitutes, the working girls, and you're like, oh yeah, you know that that's that's Darla, that's uh, Sherry. Yeah, you know all of them. You know, you probably know all of them very personally, actually. Um, a little too well. A little too well. <laughs> and there's, then you start realizing what a useless fucking description that guy gave you because there's a lot of people here who are wearing hoodies and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but you also know how a drug dealer acts, how they just kind of hang around a corner aimlessly. And uh, there's one guy hanging around aimlessly at the corner. Alright. He'll keep an eye on him and see if, like, if anyone approaches him. If not, just to be sure. Do you want to roll perception again? Sure. <laughs> you're good at this it. This is all my only good roll. Yeah, yeah you're Why? right. Why? <laughs> Why did I have this earlier? Uh, while you're standing here, and you can overhear a bunch of conversations, and you hear the name of the drug dropped a whole bunch of times. Like, clearly people are super into this. And, um, some people out here are looking more fucked up than normal. Mm, talking, like, black spots appearing on their skin. Ooh. Up the arms, like, to a degree that, like, some heroin users get, but worse. And uh, you see one of the terribly shaky, black rot on my arms people go up to the guy in the corner. Alright. He'll watch that transaction before approaching. Well, they're facing away from you, and uh, he certainly... There's something going on there. Uh, there's an exchange that you don't quite see, but the, the drug addict shuffles away kind of fast and happy. Then. Complete, completely off topic. When did I start this tutorial? Uh, you started. Just started like nine. Yeah, it was about fifty-one minutes ago. So yeah, about nine. Okay, cool. I want to make sure I'm not dragging this out too long. Um, yeah. So you go over to the drug dealer. Uh, looks up at you, and you don't really see his face. It's very, it's shadowed. Yep. We're like trailing behind you because you're the boss. Okay. The boss. Does he, did he have a car? Did he take a car? I'm gonna guess you have a car unless you want to drive a cool motorcycle. No. Uh, can you like have his car driven by really close to him and then invite him in? Kind of forcibly <laughs> invite him in? <laughs> uh, as soon as like a car pulls up to this guy, he would back the fuck off. 
Yamato would step out. <laughs> uh, do you have the notoriety flow? Yeah, I do. You totally do. Yeah, I totally do. Uh, the, the moment this guy sees you, he knows who you are. He turns and books it. All right, foot chase. <laughs> yeah, I I knew I looked up the foot chase rules for a fucking reason. <laughs> Ink knows this better than me, but Ink just said BRB. I'm gonna just be picky and look for music right now. Okie doke. No. No real 20. I just caused that. I want my Cintiq again, because my laptop's being a bitch. I haven't used my Cintiq in so long. I got a haul ass this following two weeks. Me too! <laughs> Frick! I'm gonna die. Oh, d did I regain a willpower from blacking out, or... nah. Sure. <laughs> Your rolls are so crappy, I can't say no to you. <laughs> They've been really bad, I'm gonna need it. I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... You are live running. Live running. Alright. <laughs> and I think, um... So you have to match his speed. Okay. With, um... What's your speed? My speed is nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for an extended running thing, you gotta do stamina and athletics. I don't know how many times you're gonna roll, but you're gonna have to match his speed. Okay. Um, <sighs> like, literally just explain this to me. <laughs> Alright, knowing how many times I'm gonna roll is gonna be important. Should I go ahead and just roll the first one? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Just to test the waters. Yep. Yep, <laughs> yep that looks about right. Yep. I want to say your goons are slower than you because you're a bit bigger, so. Tall, skinny, can't have emo, can't have tall ass women. I think you get to roll up to You wanna get equal to his speed, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do do I have unlimited amount of rolls or three times the speed rolls? Okay. So he gets to roll as many times as he has to? So you, your speed is nine, right? So I'm trying to exceed yeah. that. While well, you're trying to also, you're trying to exceed his speed, which is also nine. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll power then. I think guys are evenly matched on these stats for running, which is nice. That's pretty, yeah. Uh, Get above three. Well, you're still you're still winning at the yeah, moment. So. Oh, oh my, my god. god! My luck has a GM as well. Oh. Yep. Shit, boy. Oh, wait, how many can I have in there? You only need three more. No big deal. Oh my god. Hi, one is success. Oh, there we go. Yep. It's uh, ogre. It is ogre. You catch up to him. And you just grab him by the back of the hood. Can you push him down to the ground? <laughs> yep. Right. You need that for get free. Uh, he's gonna resist you though, so you might wanna roll a grapple. Okay. Uh, what was it? Strength and Strength and yeah. Like, I don't have any roll. Uh, that's a Wait, no, that's not a Someone is not a club. <laughs> no. Uh, should I roll power? I'll go ahead and roll power.
You have grappled this poor dude. Okay. Can I just- can Kodo just like- sh like- take him by the- his collar and like shove him down in the ground? Try to intimidate uh, him? Uh... You, you can't roll intimidation. Okay. Uh... that's presence and intimidation? Mm-hmm. Black. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> the <was> earlier. <laughs> uh, you tackle this poor guy down to the ground, and as you do, his hood kind of falls back, and you see he's probably, like, not even 19. And you're fucking snarling at him, and you're like a giant, terrifying Yakuza, <laughs> and pretty much pisses his pants. Oh my god. He's like, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. You know what I'm here for. Please, please, I'm not- I'm not the person you're looking for. I- I swear to god. Oh really? That's what the last guy told me. I- I just give them out. I don't- I don't make it. I'm not- I'm not the creator. Then I'm just is? a revealer. <laughs> I don't know! What do you mean you don't know? Where do you get it from? I- there's just a pickup location and I get it and I get paid. How- how did you get involved in this then? I was a drug dealer before, and someone, you know, tipped me off on this, and it was really good funny. They don't ask questions. He looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Kodo doesn't care. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. Uh, would his goonies have caught up to him by now? Uh, can they drag him back to his car? Sure, you can drag the 18-year-old <laughs> kicking and screaming yeah. back to your car. <laughs> before they, like... Before they draw too much attention in public. He actually is gonna be kicking and screaming, so... Alright, what do I need to roll, Ron? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm dragging him back so they can interrogate him more. Okay, just... Turn to the brawl again. Okay. <laughs> but you're not gonna stop him from screaming. He's still gonna scream. He's gonna be like, please, I have a baby brother. <laughs> you really would be. die. <laughs> oh, that's almost a crit. <laughs> you try? No, I try. Alright. Uh, so he doesn't drag him back then, I'm guessing. Are you trying to drag him back personally? Are you getting your goons to help He's you? getting his goons to help him too. Okay, then that's like a plus two. Okay. Shit. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I guess you did a thing. I guess you are dragging him back. <laughs> And I'm changing tunes. Shit, boy. Well, you're dragging him back. You tell me what you're doing. I'm All just right. changing music because I'm me. Okay. Uh, he'll sh order him to get into the car. Oh, uh, he's not gonna go quietly. You're just gonna have to push him in there. Okay, he'll fucking push him if he needs to. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, and. But what are you gonna do with this poor child that is actually crying right now? <laughs> uh, he's gonna demand to know, like, take him to where he picks up. Track them over there. Uh, and you will, because you succeeded like crazy over him. <laughs> and, um, he'll just give you an address that is even further outside of Boston. Sort of, like, on the very, very edge of the city. And, uh, See what you can roll. He'll be saying, like, if you're lying to us, like, you're gonna pay for it. I'm sorry! <laughs> God, he's so mean. What do you roll? I guess you roll survival to navigate, but that's pretty stupid. You're in a uh, city, that's so more you like can. Streetwise, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say you can roll, like, wits and streetwise if you want. Well, <laughs> there goes my luck. <laughs> but you just like no, it This is why we have GPS. <laughs> What's that you... trying to kill me? What? What's that trying to kill me? <laughs> you like... You're like, yeah, I know what that is. And you like, point your goons to where to drive. And you guys driving, and you're driving, and you're driving, and you're like... Like, <laughs> in some fields, and like, some nice rich neighborhoods, and you're like, uh... It's probably isn't the place and the kid's like yeah this isn't the place and you're like all right let's turn around and then you actually check the gps out. <laughs> <laughs> a very intimidating yakuza here 
very intimidating Yakuza like leans over to this t- terrified child who has wet his pants and he's just like all right here type in the address <laughs> and he does it with sheer terror and do, do, do. where is my image for this cool yeah uh it's the middle of the night don't take this picture just too seriously okay. you are outside and of and some big abandoned building on the outskirts of town okay uh he'll shove the kid out and order him to like lead the way where do you usually pick up uh, kind of still crying and begging you not to hurt him. He shows you, like, just a little spot under some grass and a little bit of rubble where there's, like, a hole dug out in the ground and there's, like, a bag of that black sand dropped right there. He'll ask when was the last time he picked up. Like, yesterday? How often did they drop here? Really often, um... I just kind of hide here in the back in my car, kind of every other day. Okay. Uh, he'll ask how much cash he has on him. Was that it? Was he dealing with in his own turf or no? No, he was not. Okay. Uh, uh, not. He was on like. He was not on any turf that you would. Well, this isn't any gang that you know of that's doing this, so he's anywhere he goes, he's not on turf he's allowed to be on. Okay. So, he said he didn't work for any employer. He doesn't know who he's working for, right? Nope. Uh, can Koda ask um, who he used to work for in the past? Uh, he'd probably give you some name of um, some minor crime boss that you know that isn't very threatening to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. He'll tell his goonies to take him back, like, let him go. Kid Link, <laughs> I'll never tell anyone I swear. Don't. Just give me what you have on you. I'll let you go. What? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, give whatever drugs he has on him. Any of the demon dust. He gives you a bigger bag of it. Like, this something that could have obviously been split up into multiple doses for selling. Okay, cool. Koda's gonna keep that. Deal it later. And this kid runs. <laughs> runs. For his run. That's <laughs> for his fucking life. All right. Uh, can Koto take whatever was stashed away? Yes. All right. And you can roll perception too. Okay. Uh, there's a whole lot of footprints around here, uh, in the dirt. Obviously, some are the kids, because they just yeah. are there go around here. Are there obvious ones that, like, don't really follow the same trail as the rest of them? Yes. Yes, there are some that lead into the abandoned building. Okay. Yeah, quite a few, actually. People walk back and forth between this building and this drop spot. Sure thing. Hey, hey. <laughs> walking right into danger. I know it. Uh, as you walk towards the building, you see a light in one of the windows. Go on. Can he try to be stealthy? Yes, he can try and be stealthy. Uh, Dex and stuff. Hmm. You are relatively quiet as you head in. Seems very quiet in here, and I need to change things. What, did I walk into an abandoned prison? What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> did you? It says it's recording. <laughs> Someone's watching me. It's from Outlaw. <laughs> oh. <That's> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can roll perception. Okay. I feel like I have to be quiet now with this music. God must be very, very quiet. I gotta whisper. 
Um, you've seen your share of spooky movies, and you walked into, I guess, what seems like it used to be an asylum. Okay. Has he ever been to, like, have, can I roll something to see if he's, like, familiar with this part of town and what this building is? Or used to be? I think, like, intelligence investigation or intelligence academics, if you're reaching back on, like, some knowledge. Okay. I'm going to roll intelligence and academics. I'm lucky on my smaller rolls. <laughs> Strange. Uh... I don't have a name for it at the moment, but you've heard of this place. Uh, it's just like an abandoned asylum on the outskirts of town that you've heard some kids like to break into sometimes and creep each other out. People go ghost hunting here. Because mm -hmm. weird stuff happens oh, okay. here. I ain't scared of no ghost. Ghosts aren't real. We don't need the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Alright. Um, any sign that people were here recently as he walks in? He's gonna follow that uh, trail. There are a couple more muddy footprints heading in. Alright, I gotta follow those. I guess you gotta roll perception again. I don't think you need to roll to navigate if you're following footsteps. Yeah. Should I just roll it? Yeah. I am just being picky with music. Spoop music. Spoop music. I'm so spooked right now. <laughs> I know this song. How spooped are you? <laughs> I love this song. It's like my fave. Oh. Oh, it sounds uh, like bugs creeping around. <laughs> uh, you're walking in and you hear some voices? You can't hear what exactly they're saying, but you definitely hear voices. You can't even quite place if they're male or female. It's like higher pitched, I guess, sort of, sort of, you're not sure. Um, and you turn around um, to ask your goons, like, hey, guys, did you hear that? You turn around, and they're not there. Oh, fucking goddammit. Actually, when you look behind you, are you sure you came that way? Different. Oh yeah, there's like a closed gate behind you. You don't remember closing no gate. Can you try to open it? With, like, quietly. Sure. Is it locked? It does not open. Well, I guess he's just moving forward on that fence. Can he, he'll try to continue stealthing closer to see if he can listen to the eavesdrop on the voices. Dex and stealth. He's gonna fuck up. I know it. I'm jinxing myself. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. I can't see exceptional. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Are you literally fade into the darkness? Oh. And you're moving through. You're that was moving through this. Run. I, I, that's a really good roll, dude. You look like, you look like five tens. What the hell? I am now a ghost. You are like actually like moving through this abandoned asylum at like a pace and stealth that ghosts would envy. Oh, shit. And I'm not gonna make your own perception to hear things because that was an exceptional. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm never gonna get that lucky again. New shadow name is ghost. Uh, you hear a woman's voice somewhere up ahead. Uh, it seems like really far away, but it's a voice and it carries. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just says, I'm not sh I don't think this one's going to last. Uh, whatever. I'm so tired of this. This is boring as shit. <laughs> grow up for like five minutes. <sighs> Shut up. You grow up. This is important. Whatever. Who cares? 
it's not it's not like he's gonna like care if it keeps failing. Of course he's gonna care. <sighs> this is too, it's gonna keep failing. Nothing's been working. Why do I have to be here? This is your job. That's all you hear for now. As you're still far down the hallway. Okay, he'll move a little closer. Is can you see like a light? Like, is there any room where it looks like light's filtering out, or is it still just totally out of his vision? There's a flickery light at the very end of the tunnel. But it like that's where like it turns a corner, so you're not sure what's behind that corner. Can you just like peek? Or go down to that corner. Stealth. And just, like, peek. Gotta stealth again. You gotta stealth again. Alright. I'm never gonna get that lucky again. Yeah. Uh, as you get up there to the corner, you try and be like as quiet as possible, and um, but you kind of make like a gentle rustling noise like against the wall because like the paints are like cracked and it peels off under your hands, mm -hmm. and uh, you hear the woman's voice much closer now. Uh, you hear probably the sound of her turning around and just being like, "What? What was that? Is someone there?" Oh shit! Is there what? Any Go, go check if someone's there. Oh, fine, as long as I don't have to sit here doing spells, because that sucks. Balls. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you hear footsteps coming towards you. Alright, is there any place where you can, like, duck in and quietly hide? It is a straight up and down hallway. Oh, fuck. Now that you think about it, that's actually really weird, and how did that happen? Alright, can you stand, like, really close to the corner and wait until, like, he c like, that guy comes around? Yeah, I guess, I don't know how you do stealth attacks like that. Shrugs. Inc, you know this more than me. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? What are you I don't know how you, I don't know. Try to stealth attack him, quietly. Uh, you get a... Well, you have to roll stealth, and then you get a plus one on your roll, because they're surprised, and they don't get their defense. Okay. So, just regular stealth, then? Yes. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I don't get that additional plus <laughs> one. <laughs> you don't get a die, and, uh, as you see around the corner, there is, like, a skinny-ass, pale, 13-year-old-ish looking kid who is clearly trying to dress cool, but kind of too skinny and young to pull it off. He's wearing all black. <laughs> has black hair, big glasses. What a nerd. He, sort of... he has glasses. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, and, uh, he spots you. So, are they, like, how close is he to now? Uh, he turn? turned the corner, you're probably, like, a good 20 yards away. Like, it's a long hallway. Oh, shit. So I didn't make it to, all the way to the end? Um, no, you were you were right at the corner. Oh, okay. the, They're around the oh, corner. Oh, right, you were trying to... And Photo was right at the corner. Out. So, so then, yeah, you two basically, like, are right oh. next to each okay. other. Okay, can he pull his gun out, point it at his head, and be like... Don't say a word, and I won't shoot. I'll intimidate. <laughs> With a plus two, obviously. Okay. Uh, presence and intimidation. Yes. Okay. I should change these two. Oh my god, Koda! <laughs> you're so <laughs> like... such a weenie! <laughs> um... <laughs> um... Let's see what we're going to do. Well, first he rolls like there's a sleeper! <laughs> and then, uh, uh, <laughs> you hear just a like, um, frustrated scream. Actually, you know, I, I'm going to play Jazzy's You Fucked Up music. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy's special You Fucked Up music. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna get dunked uh, on. he is going to. Uh, 
He is surprised. He's just gonna throw a weenie punch at you. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I just roll to he, he misses and then he runs back down the hallway. Oh, shit. Is he going the opposite direction? Or, like, back towards... He's going back to where he came from, yeah. And you hear a frustrated scream from wherever he's going, and she's like, What the fuck are you doing? Catch him! <laughs> he has a gun! Who the fuck cares if he has a gun? Catch him! <laughs> Can you just... Alright, it's K Kodo, it's your turn. Can you try to, like, just fire a warning shot for them to hear? Keep him from, like, coming after him? You can. Okay. Are you rounding the corner, or are you just standing where you are? It's just standing where he is. Sure. Is that warning shot another intimidation action? Yes. I think it might be another intimidation action at like a plus three, if that sounds fair. Sure, yeah. Alright. Uh, Alright, watch me get zero on this again. Only one. And his goons are nowhere in sight. Nope. Nope. They were they were gone. <sighs> Can you like try calling out for their names since he's already been spotted? Mikey, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can. There's no response. Okay. This place is quiet as ever, other than that two angry people with the head of you. All right. All right. Well, uh, you fire off your shot, and you see him sort of flinch, but. He is, seems to be more scared of the voice in front of him. And so, scrawny little, like, nerd 13 year old turns around and faces you and uh, takes sort of like a grrr stance. <laughs> oh, and, that's cute. Um, but you see something weird happening with his skin as he charges towards you. Uh, what exactly is happening to his skin? <laughs> it sort of looks like hard sort of barky scales hardening around him as he's running towards you. Okay. Uh, can Kodo just kind of like dodge at the last moment? You can all dodge. Okay. Uh, let's dodge. As the kid flies towards you, um, whoever was the other voice also rounds the corner in support of the other person. And you see like a tall-ish woman with uh, long black hair wearing all black and like a, you know just like casually a bloody butcher's apron over top God. and she looks pretty pissed she's got like black lipstick and looks just as edgy as like the other kid but like a bit more like mature edgy i'm talking like edgy in college versus non edgy in middle school yeah yeah like like edgy but doesn't shop at hot topic <laughs> middle school edgy versus college edgy oh, okay. yeah because that's literally what it is she's the evolved form i get it <laughs> <laughs> uh does she have it like any weapon in her hands or is she just standing there uh no she's just got her hands and they are bloody okay uh so what do i roll to dodge the little Wiener. <laughs> is that just defense doubled or was it? A... I forget what it is. Uh, mod. Dodge is uh, double your defense. Uh, dodge. Is a bit of a... All right. So dodge is you double your defense, and they have that minus from their attack as opposed to the normal attack. Okay. So. Do I yes. roll anything then, or is it just subtracting from their attack? It's, yeah, you're just basically doubling your defense if you dodge. Okay. Alright, so... You see the kid... Uh, I guess we should roll initiative, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. probably. <laughs> that, sounds, that seems like a thing, doesn't it? Yes. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. I gotta remember the roll for it. 
I've been using the thingies instead of the macros. Oh. Hey. I could set up one for initiative where you just have to type in your bonus. But, yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I go first then. Yep. All right. Uh, the kid missed me. Uh, well, he hasn't attacked again. He ran towards you. Weird fucking shit happened with his skin. And then you went, and you you dodged as your last action. He hasn't had a chance to go yet because you just got the top of the initiative order. Okay. Uh, can you cut? Fire another shot like towards his legs this time. You can do a called shot to the legs. It's minus two. Sorry, Ron. I'm. <laughs> oh, well, no. This is what you're here for. Like I <laughs> okay. don't. All right. All right. So, <laughs> Dex firearms minus two. Uh, minus four total. Cause oh no, de no defense because he is being shot at. So yes, minus two. Okay. Dex firearms minus two. Alrighty. That's only what I. I'm gonna use my last willpower then. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to roll for something earlier. Okay. Alright, so you life. shoot at him. Um, and uh, you see the shot land on his leg. But you also see the bullet bounce off and clatter to the floor. He sort of stumbles, but... And you hear a sort of little... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't seem... He sort of stumbles, but he's still coming towards you. And he doesn't look really that hurt. Oh, he's still coming towards him? <laughs> yes. Alright. You... 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 Nah, you can roll intelligence firearms through this okay. just to see if you can figure out what happens. Okay. What happened? Oh, come on, roll 20. Work with me. Roll the dice. There we go. Um, you kind of like it. It looks like sort of the same amount you'd get as like someone who got shot with a bulletproof vest might feel pain from the bullet without actually being hurt. Uh-huh. So only but on his leg. Just shout like, what the fuck? Uh, I guess he can't roll dodge for the next one, the next attack. Uh, if you want to spend your action for next turn, yeah, you can dodge. All right, I will do that. Then, do I roll defense again? Uh, you don't roll. You just double your defense. Okay. Alright, so Kid is going to have a luck die on this. Um, oh, no, I want to get a luck die. Holy crap! Uh, Holy he crap. actually. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't um, seen a person get a 10 on the luck die, but there you go. Oh my god, isn't that like an exceptional success? or? No, or it's just, just a success. success. Okay. You, you don't succeed on 8 or 9 on luck dies, only on a 10. Okay. Um, but right before his fist comes across your face, you see claws spring out of them, and you get slashed across the face uh, for one leap. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Already getting fucked. By a 13-year-old. You're getting fucked by a 13-year-old. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting my ass kicked by Weenie Hut Jr. <laughs> Run. Wow, I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, she just screams like, stop fucking around and just drag him back in here already. We need him after all. I think the other guy is done. And she looks around the corner and Inky get a plus one to strength. Yeah. Uh, for the record, I rolled one success on 11 dice. <laughs> you 
sounds like my luck. There's five ones in there. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a big dice pool. The luck keeps fluctuating in this room, it's funny. <laughs> Yep. Where's my campus? Maybe. Almost like Zone of Extremity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't get my next turn? Uh, yes, yeah, since you rolled dodge. Yeah. So. It's little fucko's turn. It is little fucko's turn. She is yelling at little fucko to just <laughs> grapple Kodo and bring him in here. Alright. Since they only got plus one strength. I but tried, okay? <laughs> Thirteen year old does not successfully grapple grown man. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you plus one, you could have used willpower. Oh, that's true. I forget I forget that NPCs get willpower. Give it willpower. <laughs> Alright. Uh Is it her turn again or Yes, it's her turn again. Gonna try the same thing. <laughs> Actually, I'll wait a second. Yep. Um. No paradox, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> paradox, paradox. Uh, no, I succeeded. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, Inky, get another plus two to strength. Yay. Is it my turn? Yeah. It is your turn. You are seeing this tiny 13 year old is suddenly getting ripped. <laughs> like, <wait. laughs> he is growing muscle. Like, like he he went he went from like the the nerd who gets his face shoved in puddles to like a jock. Oh fuck! And she's just kind of yelling after him, like you should be able to do this yourself, fucko. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm glad this is his name now. Can Kodo? And he was a fucko. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can Kodo just shout? Uh, just stay the fuck away from me and fire another shot at his direction. He's not aiming this time. Uh, you're gonna shoot the kid? Yeah. Okay, shoot the kid. <laughs> God. Ugh, that bullet just bounces off this kid's awesome pecs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we set up like a really serious scene and then drag the least serious NPCs in here. <laughs> <laughs> And you're playing Sans theme from Undertale. <laughs> and you see the kid, like, he's totally he turns around, like, away from you and says, I can do this myself. Shut up. Uh huh. Prove it. Uh. <laughs> All right. This kid gets. This. He's, like, literally hulking out. <laughs> and he turns towards you again. How tall is he at this point? Uh, he's right. probably gained, like, he's probably as tall as you are now. Oh my god. Super Oh wait, I need to roll. Junior. Sorry, I need, don't forget to roll. There's a paradox. Ha, okay. Get ducked on. You know, technically that paradox dice pool should have been five, but I'm not, I'm not a cop. <laughs> he's only got Gnosis two. Yeah, but Paradox builds for every mage that's casting. So mage? Oh, I can roll two more dice. Do oh, it. if you want to. Fuck up. I want to see paradoxes happen. Fuck. No. Eat it. Paradox. Nope. There's... Nope. Uh... Alright. Uh... I think it's her turn. Is it? Wait, what did yeah, we do? Yeah, Kodo went. Kid went. Oh no, she goes and then Kid goes, so it's Kodo's turn. Yep. Oh, it's already my turn again? Yes, All you right. are facing the incredible emo Hulk. Okay, I don't want to fight the Hulk alone, so I'm going to try to run away and find ba my backup for my other dudes. Now roll strength athletics versus this quote-unquote weenie. Yep. Non-weenie. <laughs> weenie, weenie, weenie is now the unweenie. <laughs> weenie no more. 
I can't run away and like shoot behind me at the same time, can I? Uh, I can. you can move your speed, but if you want to actually like gain ground against him, you can't what? also shoot because okay. the athletics roll is your action. Okay. I figured. Uh, dex strength athletics. Yes. Yeah. To just spread. Oh fuck! Nope. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting dunked. Yep. All right. So, hashtag her turn, but... She just kind of so. lunged after Koto, too. Uh, so then she sees I'm turning around. And uh, she grabs Koto by the front of the shirt. She's not as intimidating as Unweenie. She's actually the shortest <laughs> one here now. Oh my god. How tall uh, is but she? she's, grab she's grabbing you. She's like... Like 5'7". Okay, so she's pulling Koto down. Uh, well, since Koto is now grappled, I believe Unweenie gets a bonus on his grapple check. You are you are now grappled by the Unweenie. <laughs> <laughs> you are grappled by the Unweenie. <laughs> well, you're fucked. So, if you want to try to escape the grapple, it is strength plus brawl minus your opponent's strength. His strength is currently eight. Okay, do they have, like, are they both grabbing him, or is it just her? She kind of pulled him by the shirt and dragged him down, and I think he's intercepting her grapple. So it's yeah. against and him. So he is, no is his the hand where his gun is still free, then? Uh, you have to roll to use a weapon okay. in a grapple. So that's the same overpowering maneuver, which is strength plus brawl minus strength. Opponent's strength. Okay. So it's the same roll. Strength plus brawl minus how much? Minus eight. Minus eight. eight. Okay. Hi, luck die. I have no well. <laughs> <laughs> what? <gasps> oh, roll twenty just died for me. Thanks, roll twenty. Oh my god! I got it. I actually got it. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> you got it. Did uh, you get it? And he did get a ten. However, no, yeah, it's front, you bring the gun up and you see the bullet once again skid off that bark. Barky, oh, scaly, she, skinny. No, he wanted his. to point it at her. Point it at her. Oh, at her. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Ron, she takes one lethal. <laughs> oh, no, she doesn't. How many successes did Jazzy get? One. Yeah, no, it just it seems to go in her skin and then pop back out like she is some sort of horrific flesh creature. Oh, my God. Uh, and roll 20 is still dead for me, I guess, so I'm just sitting you here. you need to roll? Uh, it don't- she don't need to roll anything, she has a five dot armor up. Okay. No, I mean, for her action. Uh... What? I mean, Unweenie has- has Kodo, so I assume Unweenie yeah. can drag him. Unweenie can drag him in? Uh, roll 20, what the fuck is wrong with you? Clearly it's not my internet, cause like, everything else is working. Skype's working. Skype me what you wanna roll. I'll skip you back what you get. Actually, I think my internet's dying, which is weird. Well, we can still hear you fine and calm this way. I know, which is weird, because, like, none of my web pages are loading, but oh. I'm not dropping from a call, which I think should drop if my internet was dead. It's probably Question some, Sometimes Skype. my internet, like, dies for, like, active stuff, like, browsing, but Skype still works yeah. fine, which is weird. But yeah, actually, everybody's offline on Skype. Hmm. Well, tell me what you need to roll while you are still so alive. Uh, on, it's not letting me send messages. It's actually oh, not yeah. letting me send messages on Skype because it's uh, being like, it's well, doing then, like a low we'll social. We'll we can let it go and we can roll for Unweenie to uh, drag you away, Koto. <laughs> yep. What's your strength, Koto? It's only two. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hold no. on, I'm gonna just try and restart my Wi-Fi. I can't believe Ron is dead!
okay, so I forgot I was hosting, which explains why my internet died. Oh no. <laughs> because I don't think this internet was made for call hosting. Uh, do but you need someone go. else to host then? Uh, let's see how long I can drag this out. Okay. So, so Unweenie, I was saying, uh, Unweenie didn't quite, uh, hasn't quite figured out how to use his muscles quite <laughs> properly yet. He hasn't figured out how to grab you in a way that allows him to drag you. Alright, can he try to struggle out of that grip? Sure. Alright, what is it? What's the roll? It's the same as any other grapple roll. Okay. Do I get any roll deductions? Minus... No. Okay. Brawl strength. Minus, yeah, his eight. Minus eight. Oh, oh okay, luck die. Uh, uh, yeah. Nope. Okay. I flail uselessly. Nope. You are being, you are being dragged away. He's just cursing them out as he's he, being dragged away. You get hella dragged away this time. He, he figures it out. I'm trying to figure out tunes. See, we have like too much music in the last one. And I'm like, I don't know what I want all the time. So many channels too, and nothing is on. Alright, so you are hella dragged. Fuck you guys, how dare you do this to me? Blah blah blah. Do you know who I am? <laughs> uh... <laughs> You know who I am. You know who we are. <laughs> well, you're dragged into um, a room that is a little lighter than this, but you get the picture of it being a torture chamber, essentially. Um, there's like a table in the middle of the room, and you kind of get the picture of like where all the blood on girls' apron came from, because there is someone's body there. Uh, its head says Loki exploded. Okay. Did it, was it anyone who looked familiar, or just some random person? Uh, they don't have a face for you to recognize. Okay. <laughs> uh, and she kind of just goes and shoves the massive gore off her table. And she pats it, and she's like, put him in here. The fuck is this? Oh, shut up. Just, just you are put. Here. You can attempt to struggle free if you'd like while he's tying you up. Yes, he's gonna do that. Is it still elected? The minus? yep, okay. it, it, you're okay. still in a grapple. <laughs> it's still the same role. Okay, so you're tied up, and the kid kind of steps back, and he sort of flexes, and is like, "This is awesome." Uh, yeah. Don't get used to it. You look really stupid. You and she looks just... stupid. She just totally ignores him, and she like goes off and is like fiddling with stuff on a side table and she's like well not my first choice but it's not like we could let him go after he walked in here well duh okay, he's, so sort, of, he's sort of like if flicking you dare touch me <laughs> uh-huh uh the kid like flicks your nose hard <laughs> oh my god as you're tied down on the table koto will just spit at him oh She's like tinkering with something on her side table and isn't looking at you at all. Can he kind of angle his head to see what the fuck she's doing? Uh, you've seen a meth lab before. She's got a mini meth lab out on that table. Who the fuck are you guys? Who do you work for? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. <laughs>, <laughs> she laughs. Uh, I could tell you, but you would have no idea. Um, you see, you're probably gonna be dead soon, so... Shrugs. Fuck you guys. No hard feelings, we just need, like... We need a wider range of subjects for our experiments. And, uh... You could roll perception. Okay. The one thing you're good at, the yeah. The one cause... thing I'm good at. <laughs> have you ever had surgery? Do you know... Like, the giant needles they use for anesthesia. Like, the giant scary cartoon almost needles oh that god. hold a shit ton of liquid <laughs> and have a very scary sharp point. Oh my god. She's filling one up with something black and sparkly. Liquid. See? Oh shit, that's a lot! <laughs> he laughs. 
Uh, it's a little bit more than the previous one. His head exploded, but I don't know. We'll see if it happens again. Maybe the more you give, the more the body might, you know, contain it. You can use some magic, see if it helps. Shrugs. Doesn't seem to really give a shit. And he's like, oh, I can totally do that. Sure. Well... We'll Hmm? Yeah. What? I can do it. Alright, well, don't fuck up. Not gonna. Uh, Koto, she's gonna walk over and yank out your arm. Nope. C can you resist? Yeah, I can try. <laughs> what do I have to roll? You got your luck die, man. <laughs> yep, okay, still minus eight. Oh, it's always five, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> five is your unlucky number. <laughs> Which is strange. We do have an NPC named Five, don't we? Mm, fuck that game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cursed. <laughs> cursed. And she's like, "Do you want something to bite down on?" He'll just glare at her. Shrugs. <laughs> and she is going to stick that needle in your arm. And. You've probably injected a drug at least once in your life. Yeah. And you know how it feels, where, like, you feel it crawling up your veins. Well, the moment she starts pushing down on the plunger, not to mention it hurts like a motherfucker because it's a giant needle, it yeah. spreads inside you like cold fire. Just going up your arms, crawling up there, and then it hits your heart, and you're pretty sure you're having a heart attack. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I call life alert. <laughs> well, you can you can try and roll stamina to re just resist, but it's a stamina at a minus four. Oh shit! Just straight stamina. Uh, stamina composure. Resolve for resisting drugs. Oh yeah, resolving composure. Okay. Resolve it's, stamina. Okay, this resolve is stamina. a luck die. I have one die at least. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, you are dead. For, for <laughs> I, I can't believe I fucking died. You're dead. You're dead. I can't believe you died in your tutorial. I died. Again, against the fuckface. <laughs> I lost against Weenie Hut Jr. and Super Weenie Hut Jr. <laughs> Sorry, around out, out edged. <laughs> out edged. <laughs> You had the most mature edge out of all of them, and your edge is not that mature. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah, I'm conscious. Hey, you suddenly come through here. Uh-oh. Am I in hell? I mean, by all accounts and purposes, you probably deserve to be there. Yeah. Connor just stands up, just and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I knew this was coming. Yep, where do I greet <laughs> Satan? <laughs> Where's my homeboy? Where's my homeboy Satan? <laughs> oh, you are in it. Caves. Caves. Shrugs. Fiery looking caves. Fiery looking caves, alright. Danny went around or no? Uh uh. Well, guess there's nowhere to go except forward. You can roll wits in survival as you're navigating the caves. Alright. Uh, I don't have shit in survival. Might as well get one. Ah, <sighs> you walk through caves. And at first they're just caves. You don't really know where you're going, so you're not really navigating. You're just kinda of wandering, being like, yeah. Yum. Well, here. I died and I am in hell like I always knew I was going to be. <laughs> Where do I shake Satan's hand and take my place on the throne? Yep. And you're just wandering and wandering. Uh, and as you walk in, uh, you kind of, like, everything is really warm around you, obviously, because it's hell. <laughs> but you kind of notice things are pulsating. Like, all the stalactites and stuff, they start to look, um, uh, they have veins and stuff. Weird. And so those are you... pulsing? Yep. Can you poke uh, one of them? Yeah. Uh... It's gonna poke him. 
It's almost like poking someone's severed limb. Ew. These are just... You're actually surrounded by fleshy abominations. Oh. This whole thing looks like a cave, but it's actually like human flesh. Oh, fine. Shaped in cave shape. <laughs> okay. I have entered amnesia. Yep. Alright. We'll just keep walking forward then. You keep walking? Do, uh, do the pulses, like... Or is there any like sort of sort of pattern to them or anything? No, just imagine the most horrific like heartbeat type pulsing. Right. Yeah, essentially like that. Uh, let me get this. Only worse because yeah, you can practically see like the blood pumping through this oh. Oh, live fun. cave. Do you have tolerance for biology? Because I think this is no, pretty gross. I, I, I don't. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a resolving composure. Yeah, you're, you're getting a little freaked out, but you're like, it's fine. He'll pretend not to be phased by it. It's fine. He's a tough boy. Uh, roll perception as you keep walking. Okay. Nope, I, for once I cannot see shit. For once you can't see shit. Why is the dog being so loud outside? True. True. It has to bark at everything. It's barking at the ghosts. Uh, you hear... You hear a faint voice. You don't see shit, but you hear shit. And, uh, you're pretty sure that's your dad's voice. <laughs> that's weird. Did my dad already die? Not this song. Roll 20, what are you doing? Ah, oh, yes, this music. <laughs> <laughs> I know this song. Uh, you, hear, you hear your dad's voice. Just saying... Sort of like loud and clear and like practically directly to you. Just being like, I'm very disappointed in you. Squints. What? You're... You're not worthy of this family. Is there a particular direction this voice is coming from? Not really. He'll just shout, like, where are you? I always knew you were going to fail. The fuck? Where am I? Why are you here? And then you hear your mother's voice. Yeah, I... You know, his brother is a much better choice. I think you agree with me. And then you hear your father's voice, like, mm-hmm. He'll be, he'll be shouting like, no, I'm here. I'm right here. It's such a shame about him. And your mother's voice, in, in fact, he is a shame in himself. Mm. What a disgrace. Kid Kodo try reading, just trying to find the source of the voices. Yep. You just blindly run ahead, yep. like going like, ah, so, fuck you guys, no, you can't take this from me. You can't do this to me, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you run through this cave. Um, just utter going crazy, cow. like, oh my god, where the fuck are you? And suddenly. Uh, I couldn't find a picture that would accurately represent it, because obviously I don't know, but you're in your childhood home. That'd be kind of freaky, too. Uh, oh yeah, it is freaky. Actually, I should change the music yet again to something creepier. Because it is all of a sudden quiet, and there's no more pulsating weird things. He'll but it is very dark. He'll call out for his mom and dad again. Mommy, daddy! <laughs> 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 you don't hear your mom and your dad but this time you hear your brother and you hear him laughing and he's just like I always knew it was the better one fuck you Daisuke where are you 
Yeah, there's no more than that. Alright. Uh, check around the house then. Go to where his parents usually hang out then. In that old home. Uh, yeah, you can perception around. Perception? Um, so it is your childhood home, just as you remember it, down to, like, the teacups your mom left in the sink. And some plates are even out on the dinner table. You very clearly remember this. This is where you lived, back when you lived in Japan with your family. But it's very, very empty. Like, unsettlingly empty. It gives you a bad feeling. It's sort of like, sort of like you would imagine walking into a house where everyone's been murdered. Mm -hmm. Can you check out the rooms? Mm hmm Which ones? Uh, let's start with his, his own room. Him and his brother sure. probably shared it. You go to your room, which you shared with your brother. And there's someone sleeping in your brother's bed. Wait, there's someone sleeping there? Oh, yeah. He'll just call out. He won't approach them. He'll just be like, who are you? No response. Daisuke? No response. All right. Tired to step closer. Are they, like, under the covers or anything? Mm-hmm. He'll... You can't see them. He'll just, like, pull those off. Really aggressively. Uh, it is you as a kid sleeping. Okay, that's weird. And uh, you look up. You oh, just... fuck this movie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the mental image I had for this. Oh I don't apologize. <laughs> I remember this movie. There is a thing in the corner. Is it doing Like, nope, it's just in there, just like that one. Can you just ask, who are you? It doesn't move, but it seems to inch closer. Is there anything, like, for Koda to grab and, like, throw at it? I don't know, what kind of stuff did you have in your room? I have been in a thing about this room with my OCs. <laughs> <laughs> he probably oh. has, like, some toys around. Like, how old? Yeah, yeah you probably- there'd be probably a set of toys on the floor. Yeah. He'll throw- he'll just throw one of those at him and I'll, like, be like, I asked you a question! It goes whoosh through the thingy and through the wall. And the thing glides forwards towards you. And uh, you can see it's definitely more demony. It has horns. It has burning red eyes. He'll just have and... to stare down with it then. Are you trying to intimidate it, or yeah. you just have? You will stare at Satan. <laughs> stare. <laughs> have a stare down. Do I roll intimidation? <laughs> If you want to, but I can keep going if you'd like. Okay. Um, after what seems like ages, the thing just kind of opens its mouth very slowly. It's like, like, like opening its mouth, and like the teeth in there are just like, wait, is that the end of his teeth? No, they're longer, they're longer, they're longer. It's almost like an anglerfish's mouth. Oh my god! And then it just whispers. Is here hell? You have to go back. I would like that, yes. I think I died though. Hmm? And it holds up a finger. And That's before you can even it. react, it's lunging at you and it buries your fang it, its fangs into your throat. Okay, Tay. Now I'm officially dead. Right, and right. everything goes black again. Right, and you are no longer here. You, I, I can't huh? believe we've reused this image so many times, but 
you wake up in this familiar place. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where I am. <laughs> the same bed Gee, is the exact same I wonder same bed. where you are. Hmm. Scratch his chin. You know, something worth noting? Um. You look at the clock next to you. This, because it's just on your bedside. Mm -hmm. And so when the day when you fought the kid and his sister and you were at your club, mm -hmm. that was actually in 2013. <laughs> you look at the clock at your bedside and it is uh, July 15th, 2016. This is our deal, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that probably wouldn't register right away. <laughs> oh my god, fuck. <laughs> is he alone in the room? Uh, you are alone. And you're dressed in a hospital gown. Um, yeah, completely alone. Okay, uh, does he have, like, any IVs and like the veins or anything, or can you just like walk out? Oh yeah, you had like a, you even had like a breathing tube thingy that you have to pull out. Okay, he's pulling everything out. Like no, fuck, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And, I, and everything's like beeping insanely, uh, and are just booking it for the door without even looking around. I mean, he'd look around. Yeah, I'm just asking. I'm not. I was not out of car. Melon is. I guess there's the v-neck. What? The scoop tea is gone. I don't know if the v-neck is gone. <laughs> what? I don't know. I was thinking about fashion for a second. I was like, t-shirts changed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that you're, you're wearing a hospital gown and your ass is hanging. That's what. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you like peek out of his room? Is there anyone down the halls? Oh, uh, you can. It's the middle of the night, though. Okay. But I'm gonna assume that by ripping out all your fucking medical equipment, you've set off some sort of alarm, and there's a nurse speeding down the hall towards you. Uh. <laughs> Is there, like, an elevator nearby or something? Oh, uh, there's one at the opposite end of the hallway. Oh. So she's running from, like, from the right, and the elevator's all the way down to the left. Okay. He's gonna go for that. And she's just like, Mr. Asako, please wait. You you can't be out of bed right now. Oh, okay. Gosh. Ink, mute yourself when you're talking to your goddamn parents. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I thought I was muted this whole time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. 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 And she doesn't- she's not threatening, she's a fucking nurse. He'll be like, where, where the fuck am I? You're in Boston General. Please, please lie down. Where's my favorite- like, do you have a phone I can use? Yes, I, I'll, I'll let you uh, use the phone by your bedside presently if you just lie down, please. Right. How long have I been here? She... She's, she looks like she hasn't been trained to address this sort of situation. And uh, she, like, you know, she ushers you back into bed and she's, like, doing her business, gonna be putting your IV back in. And she's like, You've, you've been here for three years. <laughs> he'll, he'll just kind of, like, have that thousand mile stare, having that confirmed. I'm, I'm sorry, so you can probably talk more about it with the doctor if he comes in in the morning, but. Yeah. You- you've been in a coma for three years. Fuck. Can you get the doctor right here? Immediately? Oh, I can call him. Um, Blame seeing as it's an emergency. Him. But it's amazing that you're talking and everything. You- you seem fine. Yeah. This, this is... What the and fuck happened? And she immediately would go to call the doctor on herself. He'll just sit by and wait impatiently. Like, hurry up. Yeah, and she'd be like, alright, he's on his way. Okay. Um, can 
he try calling uh, his family? Or would they have, like, international shit? Yeah. Yeah, most likely. And if you go to pick up the phone, she's like, do you have any family members we could call? Yeah. My father? She's like, we've been looking for them for a very long time. No one. You, you were just, you were found in the middle of nowhere. Um, the police suspected that whoever assaulted you must have thought you were dead when they dumped you. And we couldn't find any family on record for you. And no one came to claim responsibility for you. Do you have any of my belongings? Uh, no, sorry, sir. Uh, I have all you were found with, just your clothes and a quantity of strange drugs that we confiscated. I'm sorry. Well, what about my phone? Um, I think we have that somewhere down in the hospital storage, but it's just been a very long time. Well, can you get it for me? I can't leave your site, sir, until the doctor gets here. I'll go with you. No, sir, you can't leave the bed, sir. Try to like remember his family's phone numbers from memory. Yeah, I mean, you probably know your family's phone numbers. You don't have to remember it. Like, I know my family's phone numbers. I don't know about you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anyone's phone number. All right. Uh, he'll try calling his father first. Mm -hmm. He dial. It rings a couple times. Mm -hmm. He picks up, and he's like, "Hello." There's like a pause, and he's like, Who is this? Z Kodo. That doesn't tell me anything. Who is this? It's your son. This isn't funny, whoever you are. I don't know how you got this number. But my son oh. is right next. What? My son, Daisuke? Yeah, your oldest one, though. I only have one son. What kind of game is are you playing? Is this the right number? This is the Asakawa family, right? Yes, it is. But it might not be the one you were looking for. And he hangs up. He'll just, like, slowly drop the phone. And stare at it. Nurse just looks concerned. He'll be, like, trying to keep it cool, but he's just sitting there, like, shaking, like, what the fuck? Well, in a couple minutes, the doctor would show up, and, um, he would simply just start, like, medically assessing you. Which I don't know shit about, so I'm not even gonna pretend. <laughs> okay. Can't half-ass this one. Can't bullshit it. <laughs> I, I really can't. <laughs> I'm that part in uh, Cash Me If You Can where he pretends to be a doctor. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just like look at the papers and nod. Like, yep. you're, you're doing the right thing. Good job. Uh, you're perfectly healthy, Mr. Asakawa. Um, is there anyone we can call for you to stay with? He wouldn't know how to answer. He's just like, he still looks like he's in a daze. I, this is probably all I can, I'm sorry, I should let you rest. And we'll talk about, um, insurance payments and whatnot when you're better situated. And they leave you alone in the room. He's gonna be crawling in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Puts on Lincoln Park. Yeah. Puts on eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you're sitting there... By yourself, it's like still the middle of the night. I'm assuming you're not sleeping. Nope. He's just like staring out into the void. Like, my life is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the door to your room opens again, and a different man walks in. Not a doctor, but tallish, um, half Asian, black hair, uh, wearing like a suit jacket and jeans, probably. Same as that douchebag in the club, because Gee, he's also. I wonder. 
Uh, he, he kind of looks like he ran here, actually, and is looking really shaken up. He, he looks at you in, in an equally shell-shocked manner. Koda will just, like, glare at him and be like, who the fuck are you? Uh, he, like, pauses stupidly for a second, and he's like, never mind, I didn't expect someone to awaken while I was... Like, wipes his hand again. Never mind. Who are you? Koto. I don't know, you ran into my room, shouldn't you know? No, I just... Okay, this is really hard to explain. Whatever. You probably won't believe me if I say it anyway. And he goes over to you and he holds out his hand, and he... Just like tries to tries to smile, but he's clearly having a very hard time. Uh, <laughs> Koto is not returning that smile at all. He's just giving him a death glare. Okay, well, since Koto's not smiling, that smile drops in like two seconds. <laughs> and he's like, "All right, so you've been here for I heard them say three years." All right, I don't see any other way out of this. Um, listen, we can help you out. Who is we? The Cardians. Um, waves his hand. You have been through some supernatural bullshit, uh, and you're awakened, by the way. Um, congratulations. Not congratulations. He'll just kind of like shrug and give him a confused look, like I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> uh, it means you're a mage, and. I hate putting it this way, but if you don't come with us, someone will probably come kill you very soon. Okay, that's great. Are you guys, like, a gang? Or are you some, like, government organization? Double pistols and a wink. Uh, you know what? If you want to call us a gang, you can, like, put it that way for now. We're more like the Mafia. Alright. This is why he's not a heart to fight this one. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> And all right, all right, we are going to get you out of here quick, like, because I don't think Daryl will be really happy with having a member of the Yakuza in here for very long. So, he waits for you to come with him. Oh, we're breaking out of this hospital together. All right, I'm down for that. And he, as you guys are breaking out, he's like, uh, and by the way, you're going to need this where we're going. And he hands you a two of spades. And you guys are breaking out of the hospital together. And that's the end of your tutorial. I... Oh, man. <laughs> R&D part two. Another <laughs> Japanese kid. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is oh. what happened. Oh, I love it. That was fun. I'm glad. This is my first fate character. This is fun. I, I, have, I have a question. Yeah. What what's the point of the cards? Uh they let you into the base and okay. they let you communicate with the aces. And they also define what your suit is. Okay. It like but I have to act within the suit or something? Do I get special powers with that or what? No, it's just like a class division. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's like saying, you're the rogue, you're the fighter, you're oh, the cleric. Okay. It's just like a, your general role. Okay, I see. Or what they expect you to fulfill. Okay, I got it. I mean, they are special in a magic way, since this is a mage division, but we may talk about that later. Cool. Hey. Magic investigation. The yes, Lord joins the team. Chronologically, who joined the team first? Which I guess I should ask that after all the tutorials are done. I've been giving you random in game times in 2016. Okay. I can't believe he died. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, you guys, you guys like that. If you ever are actually like disappointed in your suit or want to change, I am open to you guys talking to me about it. I'm not carp. Yeah, I had no idea what suit I would get, so. I honestly had no idea either. I was like, 
probably gonna be a heart, but then you actually suck at being a heart. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so I'm too I'm scary scared. to be a heart. Right? I'm too <laughs> what much is? Of a I torture thirteen-year-olds. Yeah, you, you <laughs> fought two. You fought two teenagers, and you won against one. So you're like one one out of two. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I lost to a weenie. <laughs> <laughs>